What's up guys, Derek here from DaysDesigns.com back with another YouTube video. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so in today's video I wanted to bring you something a little bit different and I'm going to be doing a book review. So in today's book review I'm going to be going over a little bit about the book, the author of the book, as well as my top five takeaways from that book. So let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see from the thumbnail, the book that I'm going to be reviewing is pretty much everything from Aaron James Draplin at the Draplin Design Company. So, Aaron James Draplin is pretty much what I would consider a successful graphic designer. You know, he's created amazing logo designs, works of art, graphic designs, all these kinds of things. He's also an entrepreneur as well. He co-founded this company right here, Field Notes. He's worked with brands like Nike, um, personal brands within the Nike brand like Paul Rodriguez. So if you guys are into skateboarding, X Games, anything like that, I'm pretty sure you've heard of Paul Rodriguez. Also worked with Stefan Janowski. If you've ever been to any skate shops and seen these shoes, the Janowskis from the Nike SB. If you've ever looked at the tongue of the shoe, there's a little badge on there and he actually created the badge. So I thought it was really dope. Now we can get to my top five takeaways from this book. Let's get started. All right, guys, so my first takeaway from this book has to be how do I get started? One of his main recommendations for people who have these questions is to simply just get started and put your work out there. All you have to do, guys, is create your own designs, create your own logo designs for yourself. And they can also be for brands, companies, things of that nature that you made up. You're pretty much creating your own spec work to put in your portfolio that portrays the type of logo designs, the type of projects, the type of work you want to do and be hired for in the future. So that leads to my second takeaway from this book, which is compromising. One thing he touched on was sometimes you have to compromise in regards to projects because there may not always be the perfect budget there. You may be busy with three other projects, but you finally get the project that has exactly what you're looking for, but the timing is off. If it's really something you want to do, but not everything is perfect, just take the project anyway and see how it goes. This is something I recently had an experience with. I created a logo design. It was pretty much a digital illustration and logo design but anyways i took the project and i was really happy with the outcome made a youtube video about it thought it was awesome it was really dope design all right guys so my third takeaway from this book would be writing it down this is something i've been doing for a while now just writing down my daily goals writing down any projects that i have any prospects i need to get back to so you don't have to remember it in your brain because if you have a lot of things going on at once it's extremely easy to forget something that's super important so if you write it down it's a great way to make sure that you remember it and that you can actually tackle that task and get it done. My fourth takeaway is that vectors are free. When I first came across Aaron, it was uh, in a Skillshare class and I remember seeing a behind the scenes shot of his computer screen while he was working and on his screen there was a bunch of different logo designs, all different variations all over the screen. One thing that he recommends doing is just duplicating your logo designs. It's extremely easy to do. All you literally have to do is click on that logo, control C to copy it, and then control V to paste it. And then you click and drag it and move it over. And this way you can always make adjustments and still have that previous design there that you recently created. And just continue to go all the way down until you created the concept that you wanna to present to your client. All right, so my fifth and final takeaway from this book has to be the creation of presentation files and things of that nature. When I first came across him uh, towards the end of that Skillshare class that I had taken, he was talking about the importance of presentations. It's really just mocking the logo design, the concept in general on anything to give the viewer, the audience, the client a better understanding, a better visual aspect of what it will look like in the real world. Whether that be, again, being mocked up on shirts, any apparel, being embroidered on a hat, being displayed on a poster on a wall, advertisements, any things of that nature. This is extremely helpful, guys, when you're really trying to sell your clients or just sell anyone on the concept that you've created for them and just how effective it can actually be for their company, their brand, and their organization. So yeah, guys, that is tip number five, and it pretty much wraps up this video. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys would love to check out the book, I highly recommend it. As you guys can see, before you even open it, there's just so much art, so many logo designs, so much information already. So, you know, again, imagine what's on the inside of this thing. Feel free to check out the link in my description on Amazon if you guys would like to buy it, or even just look at it, maybe flip through some of the pages, read some of the reviews, any things of that nature. So again, this is Derek from daysdesigns.com. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.